What's up guys, it's Paolo Avellino for Technic Gaming and today we are going to take a look at the new Cooler Master Masterbox MB500. So as you can see, this Masterbox MB500 uh, comes with a uh, matte bl black case. It also ca comes with like uh, engraved camo, like digital camo style, uh, all around all around the case. And this supports uh, an ATX uh, motherboard, a mini ATX, or a micro ATX. But uh, in my opinion, I'd rather put a micro <laughs> or a, a mini ATX here. Uh, due to uh, size, the size, and also because I think it's just everything's gonna be like too cramped for a standard ATX. But it's up to you, it's up to you guys. And I mean, you can attach several 120 millimeter fans. Um, this one has two in front, one in the back, although you could put a 360 rad in front as well. Uh, single 120 rad at the back or two 120 reds on top and that's it and of course uh, if you want to complete the tough set as well let me turn this around because as you can see you have a big tough logo right here it says tough gaming alliance So as you guys can see, uh, if you want to complete the whole Tough set, uh, Tough gaming set, uh, has a big Tough logo here. So if you want to, then why not? Um, you could also use this Tough B4 550M Plus gaming motherboard. Uh, it's an AMD board. Uh, there you go. So yeah, I hope you like the motherboard. And now uh, the Tough gaming line also came up with several peripherals. Uh, three of them are here. We have the keyboard, which I like because there are no macro stuff on the side uh, if you're an F FPS player. And the headset, which is seven, a 7.1 7 uh, gaming headset as well, as stated here. <laughs> and uh, the mouse, I'm not sure if this is wireless, I don't think it is, but uh, we're gonna test it out and we'll see if it's worth it.
All right, so now we're gonna do a quick overview of the products and we're gonna rate, rate it out of five. For the case, uh, I would rate it uh, 3.5. Um, the ventilation is quite good. Uh, you got tempered glass in front, but uh, I just think that it's too cramped inside. I'd prefer like bigger cases, but depends. it also depends on your space and a lot of reasons. For the motherboard, uh, I'm... I can't. I won't. I can't. I won't be able to give it a rating since we haven't tested it, and uh, all my stuff are Intel here, <laughs> or most of my stuff are Intel. Uh, for the keyboard, I would give it a three. I find it too soft. I got used to like mechanical keyboards or clanky and stuff. Uh, I like how there are no macro keys on the side. I, uh, and for some people, you might also prefer uh, a stealthier or like a keyboard like this one since it's not that noisy or loud, especially when you stream or when there are people in the room and they get irritated by the clankiness. Uh, for the headset, I would give it the I would give it a three as well. Um, we, we don't have the prices as of now, so I can't say if it's a bang for the buck, but if you're an FPS, uh, if you're a gamer, or if you just listen to random music, or, or you're casual, or you, you use it casually, then maybe uh, it would be good for you. But I am comparing this with uh, like high-end headphones over here in the house and high-end amplifiers for the phones, so uh, I can't really form a nice opinion on whether I could compare this with similar products, same to this. And as for the mouse, uh, I would give it a, a 3 as well. A 3 be only because uh, it's too light for me and it's too small for my hands. But um, I know other people prefer it that way, especially if you want, if you, you, you used to carry your mouse and drag it around. But, so that's it. Uh, so again, thank you guys. It's Paolo again for Technique Gaming. And if you want to see more reviews or uh, more unboxing videos, uh, let me know in the comment section. Give it a like. Let me know also what products you want to see. Uh, yeah, that's it. Bye. It's my first time doing this. I was forced and blackmailed into doing this. <laughs>